Hey everybody and welcome back to Brutally Honest Reviews. <clears throat> this week we are reviewing Alpha, which is a little known movie that came to theaters and is luckily still in theaters after the second week. Um, today with me I have Rob, Justin, and Sam, and we are ready to kick it off. Uh, Rob, what do you think of the movie? It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be, especially seeing how I thought it was that movie with the stupid metal dog. <laughs> when you said we were going to see Alpha, I was like, oh, cool. It's the metal dog movie, so but then it was yeah. a real dog, and I liked it. It was a CGI dog. It was a fucking real goddamn dog. It was a yeah. CGI wolf. No, it wasn't. Half, it wasn't even a wolf. It was a wolf. Half it was the time a dog. It was a wolf. Hey, Justin, what's CGI. your opinion of this movie? This movie is about as good as you spilling a beer. I'd rather watch that, honestly. Yeah, look it up. <laughs> this movie sucked. Evan, how'd you feel about it? I'm helping the green skin green key. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, more reflective. I just liked so. it was level 15. <laughs> okay. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think? <laughs> Spitz beer. God damn it. No. Good intro is good. <laughs> Did you say? <laughs> yeah, it's a car fire. Okay. You, you said it was a car fire? Yeah. You hated I'm it. saying it's a car fire. Um, so I, I liked, I loved this movie actually. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was, it was awesome. It was a it was a different kind of movie, as I'm pegging this movie is a different kind of movie. And the reason why I say it's a different kind of movie is because there's movies that we go to the theater and see every day, like for example, Mile 22, which you'll see our podcast of. Mile 22, it's like you know Mark Wahlberg's there, you know self-explanatory, and then there's you know product references and inside jokes and pop culture, this and that. We get it on the other one that like Mile 22. Anyway, <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, there's movies it's that... It's the exact opposite of this shit show. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, so what I mean by that is, is, uh, is, is Alpha's kind of like a more of like a National Geographic kind of movie. It's, it was definitely a lot of imagery, a lot of kind of, it, it brought you to another place where it's, um, you know, a lot of movies are kind of pop culture and social, um, that's how they sell their movies. So this is kind of like a refreshing little twist. Or not twist, but refreshing little uh, difference for me. Palate cleanser. Palate cleanser. All the shit. In my cheese tasting beers. <laughs> That's right. Surrounded by treacherous assholes. <laughs> um, Sam, how my did you turn. feel? So I liked it. Um, there's at first I. I kind of harshly judged it because the amount of CG in it. Not so much the amount. It's just that. I really wish they focused on some areas than they did, but I don't know if that's just because I don't know much about CG, but there were some parts where I was like, it's killing what's going on. Like, it looks like I'm watching a play in front of, like, you know, whatever. But with the CG opinion aside, um, I saw this movie alone, and I was like, I didn't know what to think about it, but the only other people that were in there were two other families, and I was like, oh, this is actually a really cute family film. Like, I was, I didn't really think about it that way, because I was ready to judge this harshly, because I saw maybe one trailer for it, and I didn't really know what to think about it, but it was. It was super cute, like, watching some, oh god, that fucking fly. Got it. Look at that shit. <laughs> Fucking got him. Continue. Show it to the camera. There was a uh, there was a gnat or some yeah that happened in the mix, bug so that we got it this time. Doesn't matter. It's an asshole. But um, and he was also dead. Um, so there was a lot that I liked about it. I really liked that it was in the native language of whoever these people were. I thought the costuming was super great. I really liked the setup of some shots, like how I feel like. Like, there was a lot that was so good. I feel like if you pause at any moment, you have a really sick screensaver at any moment. But what you said, like the whole National Geographic type thing, like, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. I liked it. So, just a quick counter yeah. to, to, to your lovely point. I'm not just going to shit on this movie, though. Yes, you are. As much as I, I'm going to shit on this movie the whole time. But I just want to say, if this is a family oriented movie, its pacing is atrocious for a family movie. Well, I just mean, like, it, it was, like, there was enough action that you could be like, oh, like, okay, good, this isn't something you could sleep through, but at the same time, it wasn't, like, pushing it too much. We had to, like, cover your kid's eyes, because I had, like, one family, I think the youngest kid was between, like, maybe seven and ten, and then the other ones were, like, 
early teens, and I was like, all right, this is entertaining for the whole family. And it had, like, cute moments and, like, you know, yeah. also cute moments with hunting and shit. Like, I, I feel like this is this is just one of those really I feel cute like its movies. pacing was atrocious. Just Also just because, like, its pacing was atrocious, but it was atrocious because there wasn't any talking. Yeah, that is, like, that is one thing I will agree is with you. Wildly, like, I, I didn't, like, all right. The cinematography is A+. plus. Mm-hmm. Even if it's CG, I don't oh, really care. I can look past that. I understood this was CG from the jump. I thought, cinematically, this was pretty masterful. But just story-wise, I'm like, it's domesticating a dog. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's never... Have you seen a movie about that, this, though? Yeah. It wasn't on the list of shit I would ever want to see. I thought it was pretty interesting. I'm not saying it shouldn't exist. Well, I, well I you already said that. that. <laughs> it, it may be, it I'm may so, be because our dog is a very strange crossbreed of something that should never biologically exist. That I thought it's fascinating. She's got some because, jumping being in her too. Yeah, at every stoic shot we saw of the dog, I kept thinking, "Wow, like Raven is junk. just a quick fade, and like you <laughs> see our dog, and like you go, wow, I'd really love to know how this happened. So we need a sequel." The <laughs> how a prehistoric wolf gets turned in into a Jeff. French bulldog French is beyond me. French did. I don't care what it is. <laughs> we love Raven. Someone She's... forced her parents to have sex. Yeah, they yeah. definitely. Oh, that's you test tube dogs. Dark Raven. upbringing. You don't have to force it. Dogs She's are vile, favorite. vile, dirty creatures. <laughs> Same. They Imagine. just a female dog just needs to be in heat, and that's it. Yeah. I. Oh. This chihuahua's with dog. passionate about dog fighting. No, it's fucking. <laughs> Which is a dog. I think I'd say dogs have no standards. You'll get chihuahuas <laughs> with Saint Bernards. <laughs> I would pay for five. If of those. they can reach it, they can get it. Yeah, <laughs> like he's not wrong. <laughs> no dog fucks once in this movie, but somehow we got here. Well, evidently some dogs fucked in this movie because at the end, <laughs> spoiler alert, she had a whole bunch of puppies. Oh my god, the yeah. ending was so cute. That I didn't was want perfect. to say that yet, but like, the perfect. ending was so fucking cute. I hated how I was CG those except... puppies were, but that was so cute. It's about dogs, you can shit. ruin it. You missed the deleted scene where they cut to the one dog that has uh, Kita's face. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. She had like dead puppies? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this movie was fucking cute. Okay, it was real cute. That's why when 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 he turned to them when like the puppies came out, he wasn't surprised because he knew what he'd done. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He knew what he'd done. That's I'm how kidding. he tamed it's the dog. Film. It is a family film. Yeah. So flawlessly. There was no nothing but families in the he theater. He knew what he'd me. done. It was amazing. <laughs> First dog was tamed with a sausage. Oh, Jesus oh God. Christ, I oh, need God. a father. Oh, God. Hug. <laughs> okay. yeah. So, this film is about. Let's talk what it's about. Apparently, man. dog rape. Tell them what it's all about, Steve. Who's <laughs> Steve? I was quoting Steve Rule, but he's not here. Dad? So, <laughs> what this movie's about is it's basically about a. Um, we're, we're 20, well, it's a coming. 20, 20, coming of age film, ago. too, for the boy. Totally is, yeah. It's like 200. Thousand years ago. Twenty thousand. Twenty. Was it twenty thousand? Yeah. I thought it was two hundred. I saw it right before here. It was. You believe in Jesus? Oh, right. As yeah. long as someone knows, I knew there was a two and a bunch of zeros. Yeah. So all right. Twenty thousand years ago, mm-hmm. we open. We see uh, this whole line of of hunters. Uh, twenty thousand years ago, hunting uh, buffalo. We see them all crawling up to the line, and they get ready. And then all of a sudden, they see the buffalo, and they once they're ready to make the mark, the chief says go and then they all attack the buffalo they throw their spears where they're right near a cliff and they basically throw their spears past them to avert the buffalo the buffalo start running towards the cliff which is really fucked up mm. um uh, what's his name uh the son of the chief oh, so kita uh kita son of the chief kita um is oh, great. sounds he's like great a wrestling but here name. he sucks yeah so he's he's new he's a new hunter here. He doesn't know what to do. He's afraid of the buffalo. Buffalo's charging him. He freezes and ends up getting his ass kicked by the buffalo. The buffalo drags him over the cliff and jumps off as the father goes ahead and looks and almost comes after him um, out of grief and despair and responsibility and his his um, his uh, not clan his tribe. Thinking of black clans right now. His tribe pull him back over the edge so he doesn't do something <laughs> stupid. They have a proper burial for the son who's... The son is actually hanging on a cliff um, about 
I would say like 50 feet down, um, but below the below that cliff that he's laying unconscious on is like probably about, a, I want to say a couple thousand feet. Yes. Thousand, couple Maybe thousand not feet. that high. It was a high. high but it was yeah. very high. Yeah. <laughs> Enough to where he'd be fucked up if he fell. Yeah. And that still would have been a better... Shut up. All those buffalo rest in peace. Like a yeah. hundred buffalo fell right. over the Listen, edge. Listen, PETA, that's free food. Shut up. That's, yeah. That's Peter how they did it. And they used it. their history. PETA can go fuck themselves. <laughs> Six ways from Thursday. I agree. I love animals, but PETA is fucking PETA kills more cats than I've ever even seen. I digress. Um, I don't so think it's a PETA, honestly. Buffalo go over the edge. They have a burial for his son. Um, the chief and the chief's... Um, the other, there's a chief from his tribe and the chief from the other tribe. Yeah. They both talk and tell each other, you know, you have to, you have to, don't worry about it, he's gone. It, it's, it has to be done. It is what it is. You have to be the chief. Um, during this moment, I actually had like, they had precursed this scene when, when Kida is learning to become a hunter. And his dad is teaching him, trying to teach him all these different things, like how to start a fire um trying to teach him how to hunt and all these different things and i at this moment i remember the dialogue that he told his son it, that you when he was talking about the wolves mm. when he saw the wolves he was explaining to kita the chief was explaining to kita how the wolves had an alpha as the leader of the pack and the leader of the pack always had to be alert and be the leader of the pack but also had to defend himself from jealous attackers from inside their tribe um so during like this moment when like this the father was grieving i was kind of thinking is like i wonder like if like this is like a key plot point where it's like he's gonna be vulnerable it's like we're gonna see the fruition of his yeah. dialogue which would have been smart yeah. but obviously would have destroyed the plot at b so that didn't happen yeah um what did you guys think about the initial like buffalo fight like the initial opening scene like how they played the they played the buffalo scene and then they fast forwarded to a week earlier and mm -hmm. showed him preparing for it and then they showed that quick cut scene afterwards replaying the buffalo attack and the sun there i thought that was very powerful what did you guys like think you didn't i actually really like that how they there was way too many like Jump cuts, we just saw like this. flashes. We just saw this black. We just saw, and I was like, oh, I think I, I kind of liked it because it was on. so different. Because they also played that exact scene in the trailer. I mean, there's a lot of people who don't even know that this film is a thing. Yeah. But just, I was like, I'm Jealous. so sick of seeing this thing, this scene happening. And so I think jealous. that was one of the scenes where the CG made me super upset because they use CG a lot to enhance the background intensely. So when they were like running, it looked like they were just running in. Place and it just look it just looks so silly. So it's like I'm, I know this is a dramatic thing happening right now. Did you but, see this in standard format? Yeah. I almost oh. think that this was made to be seen in 3D. So I feel good. like yeah. with because how the CG was, the scenery, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't see it. The in 3D, scenery so like, really mm. popped out at you in 3D. Yeah. yeah. And I think that because I didn't notice any of the CG as it's nearly so as much as you're talking about it because in 3d the scenery was just popping out at I think you i have to agree with rob because i did see it in 3d begrudgingly uh it's the only thing i could see you it get in. it for free you fuck <laughs> <laughs> and i want my motherfucking <laughs> free thing back you fucking a-list <laughs> i don't care about my a-list i want that extra movie back it's fucking junk but i digress i saw it in 3d actually i did pay for the person i brought which was a major fuck you to my ego <laughs> but I digress. I, why you can't My reveal holes. this? Doesn't matter. Your anyway, so um, Justin's getting his holes filled with yeah. movies. What's new? <sighs> Rob, I want to know what you thought. Just kidding, just kidding. Uh, I lost I'm my kidding, point. Kidding, kidding, kidding. I'm That's here to right. listen to Rob, guys. <laughs> of which part? Um, what you thought me. about what you thought about the 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 hunt? The thing in the beginning with the stabbing. Shut up. Minus the CG <laughs> problems I had, but I fucked up by not seeing it in 3D. Yeah, I definitely think it was meant to be seen in 3D, and I liked how it went back to the week before. I usually That's don't like flash cool. flashbacks in movies, mm. I thought it was but it shady. handled... I like the flashbacks. It was, exactly. I thought that, but the way they brought it back to normal time and regular speed, mm. I actually liked all those jump cuts and flashbacks and flashes of the scene that we already saw. Mm. When it started, I was like... There's way too many clips in here that I've already seen before. There's a whole um, 
Got it. No nope. fly. You it, are it, a strange it's animal. It's literally my fault because I left a be I left a beer open over there and didn't throw it out and I didn't know because it was behind the trash can. You are a bad person. But anyway, I digress. Um, <laughs> continuing podcast. Um, <laughs> so, what was I saying? Um, oh, the flashback stuff. Okay, so the flashback stuff. I didn't. I I thought the flashback to the week earlier was pretty cliche, especially to carry yeah. it into a movie that's kind of what I would consider a different movie, like I said. Um, <clears throat> but Do you have I a thought, dead body in here? My God. It's a, it's one beer. They all, I'll, I'll kill them all after this. Fuck. I'll kill them all. So, um, to the flashback. So I hated, I thought there was cliche for them to flashback initially, but like when they came back to real life, they started playing clips, and I was like, all right, we've seen this entire scene shot for shot already. But then it progressively, they started incrementally getting cutting further and further into it. Mm-hmm. So it actually was really powerful at the end. I liked how they did that. Let me kill that fly scene. Just letting you know. <laughs> so I, besides me begrudging this movie, I honestly did think that the uh, seeing it in 3D probably is why I don't notice anything that Sam's saying about the CG. Yeah. yeah mm. Because when you don't see it in 3D, it's so and obnoxious. I'm, I'm not going to pretend like I like 3D because things go in and out of focus so violently in 3D if it's just kind of done a little wrong. You can tell this movie was not shot in 3D. It was just edited in 3D. But I'm not so sure, actually, with this one. I feel like a lot of the background, but I, think, I didn't see it in 3D, so I don't know what parts I kind of feel were, like but... every movie since 2010 or 11 is just post-processed in 3D, because that's a shit gimmick. I don't even know why it exists. James Cameron. There James Cameron go fuck himself. He can. There hasn't been one since... I don't think there has been <laughs> Sorry, a major one since then, though. That I, uh, uh, when is an in, Interstellar shot, shot in 3D, too? A lot of things are shot in 3D. Yeah. Really? Yeah. There's oh. if you if you look through the AMC app like every couple weeks, you'll notice that <laughs> so many. There's well, so you're many saying 3D there's, movies. So you're saying there's not many more. Well, there's there not. I don't think there are any that are made in 3D. I think they're post-processed in 3D to enhance. For, for the like, most part, matter. yeah. It doesn't need to exist. But yeah. I kind of think for this movie, it did need to exist. Damn, I'm gonna see this. With the scenery, movie. yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, 3D I, I give credit where credit's due. Like, it it was a beautiful movie in oh, 3D. Oh, so many beautiful so, Like, half of me thought in 3D it made perfect sense, and the other half of me was like, this isn't your typical 3D in-your-face kind of movie, but it did help show depth where depth needed to be showed because you you, if you remember those landscapes. Like, yeah. depth was important there. Yeah. So there was another really long, uh, super B-roll heavy movie that came out called The Revenant, which they did a similar thing. There was a lot of like really atmospheric shots, but you had a lot of actual dialogue scenes to tie everything together. This movie instead, they chose to use a lot of really beautiful uh, CG and, and, and helicopter aerial videography. And But what really sold me on this is like every transition from beautiful shot to beautiful shot had an absolutely beautiful transition place. Like they planned their transitions. Mm-hmm. So like things faded out on certain parts of the screen. Like there was one part where the their walking faded out over like a campfire and it's like almost unmistakable, like shot to shot. It's almost like we didn't even cut. It's weird, yeah. mm-hmm. but like a lot of really clever mm-hmm. stuff there. Um, I think they knew what they were working with. I definitely yeah. never questioned this movie's video dog videography whatsoever i thought it was a beautiful movie yeah the things i rip it apart the most for is just like everything else about it. it's just a mess it's, it's if you like cheesy like watch me get stronger and like you know it's like playing skyrim in fast motion they made well, <laughs> a huge thing to be like you know he's gonna do fine with this hunt and then his mom was like oh well he leads with his heart not his spear or whatever that like was like the said. nicest way to be like you're a giant yeah and i was like oh my god <laughs> because like throughout the film it's like he survived by following his heart but also being you know doing what he needed to do to survive so i was like that shit that shit gets me i'm like he did it like yeah all right. This was just such a well, cute movie. Truly a plot hole for me, though, was the fact that he did not kill that dog wolf wolf thing. The what? It doesn't matter what the fuck it is. No, no. CGI wolf. No, he didn't it does. What kill it, it as in, like, when he stabbed it and it the didn't dog. die? Or he just stabbed just, it like, in the leg. No, I'm he saying, just like... He, his compassion came through, and you're no, like, the all thing, right, bitch. What I'm trying to say is that he was trained his whole life to be like, this fucking thing's the enemy. And nothing else matters. Yeah, it's, but he can never kill. Well, no, not really. Yeah, that it's was not just, so much the enemy. It was more like we need to kill. It's an enemy, though. Yeah, 
that's just the thing, though. It's like, he showed compassion for everything. He probably... I understand evolution. Mm. Like, this probably sits in the time frame where human thought, you know, it's a cool idea. Pet the fucking thing. Yeah. But... <laughs> I don't have a better what way to word that. About, but that was his... That was his first time <laughs> seeing the first wolves. Time. He's never been outside the camp before. And he should have died. He in the knew camp. that they were going to get point. him, and then when he saw it vulnerable, he was like, oh shit, now I gotta. I felt, com- I felt compassion for the stab wolfer because I like doggos, despite yeah. Rob's notion here. You hate dogs. I fucking love dogs. <laughs> but I just kind of thought it was against his natural instinct to keep it alive as all of them were trying to eat him. It just felt weird. Yeah, no, I get it. I think I think just his like his compassion came through because mm. like he was also injured. He fucked up foot from that fall. Oh god, and that then, healed miraculously. Um, I might add. Yeah, I, I had a slight problem then. with that, but I've stubbed my toe and it's taken longer to heal. I mean, like only his leg got fucked up. Humans were stronger but, back. Then. Yeah, no, he did what he like. They showed that he I was making confirm. his own, like, splints <laughs> or whatever. Can't. He did his, like, herbal rub on it and shit. But I feel like when he stabbed it, he saw that this is another injured thing just as, like... Uh, like he saw. I feel like he saw himself in this creature because he was also injured and trying to survive. Yeah. And now his this wolf's pack left it because he was like, shank, and then it, they all left. And yeah, then he was like, left. Yeah, so you I know. feel like he saw himself in this wolf yeah. and was like, you are I am his mother now. That Andy hasn't really shown the ability to take anything's life before. No. With the deer before, earlier with his dad, I mean, he wouldn't kill it even though it was for them all oh, to survive. That one, I've I, my neck I, will, I empathize deeply with that, though. Mm. Because I, too, can't kill shit. Yeah. Like an no. animal. I, I have, in the, like, a bird that's dying, it's like, eh, I'm gonna endgame you. And I did <laughs> not feel great about it. I kind of cried a little bit. I, don't know. <laughs> I know I just talk shit on PETA, but I also just can't kill animals. Yeah, yeah. It's just not my nature. So I did empathize with that. Different level. Yeah. There are degrees. Like, oh, it's suffering. Kill me too. Anyway, um, enough. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to touch on the CG, though, before we uh, yeah. continue. Though. You mean the whole movie? Yeah. Well, yeah, but um, yeah, so like the CG, like in their credit mm-hmm. and like, I didn't think the CG was bad. It was, it was pretty good. The CG where it was mm-hmm. used, like the major things that I noticed, and you can call me out if you notice anything else, but yeah. like CG I noticed is obviously like the old prehistoric animals don't yeah. exist. Mm-hmm. They have to make them. I mean, they're yeah. not, buffaloes weren't biologically like they were back 2000 Actually, years ago. Actually, those are pretty close to how they still mm-hmm. are. Pretty close. Yeah. But For the they, most part, those are exactly the same. They were, Did you see they the, were a little different? The woolly like, rhinoceros. 3D. Yeah, well, they, they had smaller yeah. horns now. Other than that, they're basically unchanged from twenty thousand years ago. I did. I do yeah. just simply ask the if you asked it, if you saw it in three D because I didn't notice. Like I, you know, instinctually it's CG, but I, mm. I don't think you. If you saw it in three, and well, you're you're filmographer. You look for it. I I, I, could, I don't. Yeah, I could tell. I mean, I I tell in immediately. Just you can because. definitely tell, but I don't. I didn't mentally take note that it was CG. It, like I yeah. thought that was a given. It looked pretty good. Yeah. Put it this way, nothing stuck out like Henry Cavill's lip in Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So fucking specific. No, because no, that was right. That insane. ruined a movie. Oh yeah, the CG during that was very strong. They flipped back between the real real wolf and then the CG like way too much and I was like, fuck like it was like Didn't one thing see I didn't even notice when he fell through the ice half of the and then when they he went into that little cave afterwards. Um, it was the CG wolf. I never even... I didn't notice that in 3D. Yeah. I think because I didn't see it in 3D, I fucked it up. It had to have been, because, I mean, this movie is... You saw it in 3D? The CG yeah. stood out so... Yeah. So you're the only one that didn't see it in 3D. Yeah, yeah. I think this was That's made so to be strange. seen in 3D. Which because sucks. I didn't notice any of the things you're pointing out. Oh, it was... Oh. Exactly. Like, I, it doesn't take away from... Like, I thought this film was still great, well, but just there were so many parts I was like... That's so obvious. If it's still in theaters and if you want to see it, definitely go see it in 3D yeah. then. Yeah. Most of these things if you're you saying, I feel like they won't show back up. Either that or they'll just be lost in the scenery. Mm. Yeah, because the 3D put in perspective what you were meant to see. Mm-hmm. Whereas I think in a standard 2D film, you're just kind of like, you could take in the whole scene. And yeah. given the kind of movie it was, you could take in the whole scene because the, the center, not the physical center of the scene, but the, the centered shot that was meant to be centered. You probably wouldn't notice at all. Mm. This movie I, didn't have a lot of mm. like. It wasn't shot like mad. Uh, Different angles and cuts. I don't remember that movie. 
uh, Mad Max, like the new Mad Max, which yeah. everything was meant to be center framed no matter what. Oh. Your eyes could stare center mm. and you just know exactly what was happening. Mm. But I feel like if this movie was in 2D, if I saw it in 2D, I'd be like, oh, that's a pretty mountain because that has more fucking context than this fucking movie. <laughs> anyway. It's definitely a cinematographer's movie rather mm. than, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, that's, that definitely makes It was an editor's screen. movie, yeah. if anything. Um, Yeah. <laughs> it was a director's movie, but it also definitely was just like, kudos to the editors. Yeah, they did a good job. Yeah. I mean, to to be to be honest, I mean, to, the production team mostly decided a lot of the things, that, the way that things were cut, because all the all those things where like the transitions happen where they are, like the, all that stuff was pre-planned. No, definitely um, the planning yeah. for shots were. You could tell. Well, you could tell <laughs> that it, this movie was definitely a hundred percent planned before it was shot. Yeah. No matter my hate for it, you could just tell from, from the filmography side of it that... Fil fil film. Filmography. Uh, you could just tell the scenes were definitely meant to be shot the way they were shot. Where the actors were placed, the yeah. angles at which they were shot... You didn't were question... so good. You could mm. not question a single so frame good. in that movie. I mm. also really liked the faraway shots of when he was trapped underwater. Yeah. How it showed mm. above the surface, yep. the ice, and below it, mm. oh, yeah, and that yeah. dog jumping up trying to break through to mm -hmm. it. I thought that looked really cool. Those were yeah. cool. I have to say that I did not empathize if anything died in this movie. Fuck. Except at the end. The puppies, I love the puppies. But, <laughs> the puppies! But up until... So... If that dog died... Spoiler alert! I already did that. It doesn't yeah. matter. Fuck the spoiler that was this movie. A woman. It's fine. Okay, didn't know that, but but like the true spoiler Where the fuck for me. Where do you think the puppies came from? I understood she was a fucking woman after it had kids. We, yeah, God damn it! No, at that part I audibly I was alone and I went, oh. And the <laughs> family's too. behind me and I'm like, they know I'm. No, no, I went aw <laughs> too. Like the ending was cute, but <laughs> up until she had kids, I had no idea what this movie's premise was. And then I saw the puppers and I was just like, it's about domesticating dogs. I gotta go. I can't fucking do this. It was silly. But it was cute. It was cute. But you've never seen it before. Like you know, no, it's I don't a want, I didn't. Have you ever had a dog before? He hates fun, happy things. <laughs> I love fun, happy things. This is I why he dogs. liked Mile Twenty Two. He likes horrid pieces of shit. <laughs> Mile Twenty Two is fucking great. That's why Tune he likes that Xbox and not PlayStation. Where I fucking love it, and all these douchebags except that's Sam why I hate have it. Both. <laughs> what? I you said, said that's why he he likes Xbox over PlayStation. I said that's why I have both. I don't even. What the fuck? I'm just picking on you. I'm I am a PC master race kind of guy. You oh. wish that Keto was Mark Wahlberg with the fucking rubber band around his wrist, snapping every yeah, time yeah. things didn't go his <laughs> Yeah, away. and a snap sucked his dick too. <laughs> Shut up, Evan. <laughs> Let's not get into Mile Twenty Two now. Fucking love that that's movie. That's the next episode. You, yeah. you guys one. You're turning me on to this movie because like, but I mean, there are things I liked about it. We jumped around a lot, it, but like, there's. It doesn't really... matter. It's about domesticating well, I, dogs. I mean. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The plot. I mean, you go pet. It's pretty much a coming of age film. Yeah. It's from that. It's a standard movie, but the things he goes through. And then towards the end, you know. How many years did it take him to get home? It took months, not years. Yeah, that's that, another that's, I mean, thing. It I changed mean. years. It Close changed seasons year. enough for no, not a year. Do you know no. how long it takes it to only kill a leg? It happened Absolutely, I broke a goddamn leg. Oh, it was did. it sucking dick for dogs? Probably fall. No. What would be fall know. here? It was fall there? Cause it only took. It was <laughs> snowing when he got home yeah. too. So it was still the winter, but and it they fell were, before the winter. But it was like they Arctic. were talking about the coming of winters, which means at latest it was summer when mm. they left. Yeah. No, it was spring. Yeah, no, because... Fall. No. Fall. Jesus I Christ, I said at Justin. latest it, it was, was summer. Like, yeah, between 8 and 12 months. Didn't they say... Yeah, it yeah, was definitely less months. than half a year because they were worried about the snow coming before they came. If it takes yeah. me 45 right, minutes to get home, yeah. I want to punch my steering wheel. Imagine taking 8 months to get home. That's just how I don't know. He grew that. He grew that pretty sweet stash. By Seriously, the way. that was Gabe eighth grade. Shout out! <laughs> shout out to G Sizzle. <laughs> oh, that is not a compliment. I'm yeah, sure. I saw this movie with Gabe, and he had the most time. genuine reaction to when. Didn't you? No, that's why he didn't like it. He had the most genuine reaction to when she had puppies. He turns to me and goes, "Puppies!" <laughs> I just fucking started laughing. It yeah, was so yeah, funny. It. No, he loved it. He loved the movie. Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay. We're about on the next episode of Who Cares. 
Shut up, Justin. <laughs> We're having fun. Mm-hmm. So, to go back to the, the plot, <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of padding with really beautiful shots in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just going to topically go over what happens in order. It's like well, the Lord of the of Rings order. with less plot. Yeah, it's like it's like it's almost like, like nobody Lord disagreed. Rings. I'm it's like, shook. It's, it's like, like uh, Randall Graves' uh, depiction of Lord of the Rings. That's how I was doing for this movie. Bit. I was like, Who's? he, the Randall little Graves. hobbits walk up the mountain and drop Randall the ring. Graves. Clerks too. Have you never oh. seen Clerks too? Fuck that idiot. Exactly. Remember he depicts Lord of the Rings. Piece of shit. <laughs> Here's the first movie. I've... He walks down the corridor. He's Here's so wrong. Here's the second movie. He's so wrong. He He's, steps around a rock. I will fight that movie. man in real life. No, I am Team Randall because that is I will Lord of the Rings is a man. fucking walking simulator. <laughs> I will spill your beer on you. I that, know a couple people who go ahead. That, I drank it because uh, Lord of the Rings and this movie are not great. You suck at everything. <laughs> You suck at life. I was a pretty good musician for a while, so fuck you, You buddy. suck at that, too. <laughs> it's shit. shit. I never heard one song. <laughs> it is shit. A lot of it's bad. Plot. It's my I favorite trilogy of, money. of all time. <laughs> we want to talk. talk. Plot, son? Yes, plot. What? Okay, so where? So during the course of the plot, as we go through these beautiful scenes, he's trying to get back to his tribe. I know. Um, we encounter a... The first animal we encounter, we encounter the wolf pack, the original wolf pack that that um, Alpha is Alpha is originally from, and they first grit their teeth, and then Alpha's like, "No, nah, it's okay. He's cool. He's a human. He's cool." And I wish he spoke. That's my boy. Yeah, <laughs> that's my boy. And uh, this after my that, girl. we continue for a bit. Um, we winter starts. They go over a frozen lake where they end up. Actually, no, that's, that's later. Um, so the winter starts. They're roaming through. They see the hyenas are following them again. There's That's a couple times further. the hyenas are following them. Yeah. So Kita oh, says to Alpha, run, and they end up in that frozen cave. Hyenas pass by, but then a black panther fucking comes up. No. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. Wait. In, yeah inside the true. cave. That's true. Fuck your That memory. wasn't a black panther. That was a fucking... black panther? No, that was a... It was a something. That was a saber-toothed tiger, boy. He was, he was it black. It was really though. dark. In the cave, that was a saber-toothed tiger. He was it was black. black, though. Yeah. They get to be black. But Racist. That was a saber-toothed tiger. I'm just so used to ice It age. had those big-ass jaws. So where I agree with you, it was also it was definitely a black. It was definitely it a was black. It's possible. It was yeah. black, yeah. A black so I was like, panther. what the hell is that? Yeah. Or a black saber It was definitely a saber A smilodon. As they call it. Yeah. In the scientific kingdom. I'll agree on that. Is it real? Goddamn nerd. You Googled it. It's a cool fucking cat. (laughs) It was in Power Rangers. I have to pee. You gotta stop. (laughs) That was the most aggressive you've ever acted I make motherfuckers pee all the time with reactions. (laughs) (laughs) Get used to it. (laughs) He just peed for those off camera. We don't have an upper camera right now. Yeah, if you had a top down, you'd see wet. Piddles. I'm wearing Under Armour. You wouldn't see anything. Piddles. I just you can shit in these pit- chicken oh, jerky out of my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Our discourse is okay. a lot about this moment. But yeah, he fought that shit. And I was really nervous at that part, actually, because I was like, yeah, I knew those fucking hyenas weren't going to do shit. They were bitches since we first Fuck saw hyenas. them. But like, that made me nervous. I was like, oh my god, Alpha's gone. That's it. Done. And that's not what happened. I was yeah. like, there were so many times I'm like, Alpha, you should be dead. You should I, be dead. I truly okay. From the but other at the side same time, point, everyone was fucking like made of steel back in the day. Because like seriously. I feel like I would have died. We've if, grown. I would have let myself die if I was in that situation. Would be like right. Hashtag 2018. Am. Anyway, no, but <laughs> I forgot my point. I, I didn't up know so that. So many times. You all sound like you cared so deeply about Alpha when yes. I yes. No, no. Hear me out. Hear me out. I Any, didn't. A thousand humans Alpha's could have died before that one. Shut dog. up. Survived. Just what I'm saying is I had no fucking idea what this movie was about until it ended. Because I didn't know the dog what? mattered. I didn't you... know the kid mattered. I didn't know... I was also a little drunk when I saw it. I'm not going to lie. Well, then but... that's where you fucked oh, up. Man. I said a little the... drunk. Have you met me? Throughout the entire movie, the, their bond grows. Their friendship grows. They help I... each other. The dog helps them hunt. But at no point beautiful. did I think... As soon as he gives the dog water, you should have known, oh, he's going to make this his pet. But I didn't think he's... that was the plot point. That's the, that had... is the plot no, point. No, it literally it says it in the trailer how he became Oh, I didn't watch the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> it literally says it in words in the trailer. It's like how... Oh, 
you oh, know, wait. man's best friend became a thing. It literally says it in the trailer. Oh, okay. here's Ladies the part, and gentlemen, hold on, here's the part where I say we I have t- the dunce of 2018. <laughs> oh, the man who missed the most obvious point. <laughs> <It says laughs> sort the biggest, <laughs> blackest dick somewhere, That's all so of you. Jesus this was Christ. the dumbest. It's a Cards Against Humanity joke. And he's racist. <laughs> Andy's right. After after I cried during the Black Klansman, really? Yeah, anyway, because the wrong guys I'm won. Just... <laughs> wow. We're yeah. not talking about That's not that even right remotely now. true, but I don't know how to come back to that. Puppies. So, puppies. What was I talking about the puppies? <laughs> I didn't watch the trailer because, like, Rob, I thought it was I didn't, about... I didn't either. I well, thought it was about the robot there dogs. weren't more, like, ten more puppies than there were? There should have been thousands. I didn't even care that there were puppies until I saw them. The puppies were really <laughs> well, kidding me. Well, well, you th- no, think about like this. The pups were. Those puppies Violent can have CG. more puppies in a year. Yeah. They and were as, animated. You and as animated. noted before, dogs have no standards. <laughs> in three <laughs> years, <laughs> in three years, there will be <laughs> at least 40 puppies. Fast forward to 2018. Raven is and about to Exactly. Breed. <laughs> so far inbred she that she snorts as if she was a swine. He basically just said French bulldogs are inbred puppers. <laughs> she is they are. They are definitely inbred. All dogs are inbred. We picture of Raven. I mean, so people we're... who don't know Raven. So know right here is where we'll insert a picture of Raven. It can be done. So the Black yeah. Panther saber tooth crossbreed, which <laughs> begs to differ, is there going to be a prequel to this movie? How we find out how this is a serious creature came to be. Gun. Um, anyway. <laughs> So Justin will not be there to see this movie. God However, damn no! Kita almost dies. I can tell you how it ends though. Kita <laughs> is like the vit- like the vitamins of the gods or something because that dog lives through everything. Yeah. Through the worst conditions ever. Strangely specific. They continue on. Kita is basically a meat puppet. Um, and they continue on. Oh no no not Kita Alpha Alpha, Alpha the dog gets beaten up. And he- He's a meat puppet. Yeah. At some point, Kita actually ends up. This may have been before the saber tooth. This is before the saber tooth. When Kita goes off with their own tribe, and then they get reunited after like Alpha. 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 Alpha dog. Yeah. The woofer. Alpha the woofer gets separated from Kita because he says go back to your tribe when they run into each other. Kita the pussy, Alpha the woofer. Yeah. And they're reunited, and they continue on. That's when the Black Panther attacks happens. Mm-hmm. Maybe saber tooth. Um, the movie? Maybe. Some cat. Some cat attacks. Sabretooth is dead. Uh, Kita killed it with an arrow that he found on well a dead, I was dead person. A right to frozen. the knee. A frozen man. Oh, that was a frustrating I'm so, I'm a little upset he didn't at least try a bit of that guy. <laughs> you know, cut off a bit of rump roast. You know <laughs> what I mean. <laughs> Early kidding, humans ate humans. Always sunny reference. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I human I meat. Got it. But I was thinking about what frozen human, human. might taste like, and like not for me. Well, no, I wouldn't try it, but I don't have to. Well, yet. Oh, I'm not going on any I don't adventures. Think we're ever, we have so much food that's filled with preservatives. I don't think our lifetime would ever have to try human meat. Not us. Unless we are like unless you want to or or something or an apocalypse. Happens. Unless you wanna apocalypse 2020. <laughs> I'm in. Not in. Why would you be in? Yeah, I don't know. it's gonna not suck. my problem. The Everybody thinks they want an apocalypse, but they really don't. No, apocalypse. it's gonna be terrible. Yeah. Won't have anything to do. I can't not run for shit. It'll be like the purge, the first purge. It's always like they'll just be like, I don't. No, I was about to name anything. drop like several Stonite pieces of shit. Well, they <laughs> oh, know who just they make are. rhyming names. <laughs> what? Just make rhyming names. <laughs> Already bought Adam. Brian Frisbee. <laughs> Everybody knew. You're such pieces of shit. <laughs> anyway, back to Dog Wolf 2.0. It was one of them. I don't even fucking directly know that person. <laughs> oh, that shit healed. Uh, anyway. <laughs> those. Those. I make stone enemies. I'm not even from that shit old. Stone enemies. Never mind. Let's not go down that hole. We're not talking about that. Um, They're all holes. They are all holes. All your friends are junk rabbits. So I have three friends. Kita is is Thank bringing you. Alpha basically back to trying to uh, still trying to get back home. Has to carry Alpha at some point because he starts dying, like literally for, for the first time in the movie. No, he gets a cold. Oh no, he's gonna die. He got fucked up by that cat. Yeah, when he coughed yeah, he up got... blood. Kita? No, that yeah, was, that was both. Kita. Kita. Alpha that and Kita. That wasn't from the cat. No, but I'm saying like he was getting. That was. That was Are we not talking about him yeah. getting sick? 
Kita and Alpha are both dying. Yeah. That was from ulcers, correct? Because yeah. when you don't eat, probably you get ulcers. Uh, they never really probably. specified because they he well, got gee, they were like, he's speak. all right. Oh. Th- that's my theory. I speak. never looked it up because I didn't have time, but that's my theory is that, like, I know. Okay, good. Um, my theory is that Kita just got ulcers. Yeah. But I anyway. I stressed at that. Oh, there yeah, is, he's too. just a bitch. I was like, he's gonna die. Couldn't survive the winter. He so, created no, fires. He's... He didn't create them, he just could do it. So they that's eventually created. find the tribe. Semantics. Uh, Alpha. Kita's uh, holding Alpha. Mm-hmm. Who, you know, maybe dead for all we know. Yeah. Um, they get back to the village. We have that really like heartfelt moment where their dad is reunited with, reunited with his son, and I cried. I loved that dad character. He was so good. Whoever that was. Johans. Yeah, these are all really. These are. I, I don't want to say new actors because I want to insult anybody, but all actors. They're, actors actors they're not guys. big name actors. Yeah. Yes. They were great. Then. This, this man was TV. Norwegian, Danish, Finnish, one of those very northern Europe countries. The dad was really my favorite part. He was only in the beginning and the end, but I thought he was great. Because he was such a good, like a good dad character. Yeah. Like he wasn't he too wasn't, mean. He no, wasn't too yeah. He wasn't too much of a hard And like ass. he was ready to go over that cliff to, to, to save his son, son, even though it meant obviously he wasn't red for yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. This was no it's, That 70s show. Exactly. <laughs> so we get back. Stick, put up your ass. We get back and... Um, the uh, kid is okay, and we find out that Elf is okay, and Elf is actually a girl, and Elf is pregnant. And um, Kita's mother pulls out the first of many Not puppies. Their what? tribes like fucking witch women. doctor. Yeah. Rubs That's the belly and pushes oh, the unit. No, that was like you know how in the beginning she had like the huge headdress on. It was like oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. guys are you know go hunt all that shit like yeah. So because she was healing him. And then he was like, take care, like, help Alpha. And then all of us, they focused on the leg of the dog. And I was like, are you healed? What is happening? And then she pulled a puppy out. And I was like, puppies! Because she, like, held it up. And I was mm. like, oh, my God, I love the Lion King. <laughs> I so, don't like to think this whole fucking movie was like, they watched the Lion King and masturbated violently to it before they ended. <laughs> With how fucked up that dog got during the saber tooth fight, though, you would think that they would have lost the baby. Well, the sh- all of them. Th- those really puppies good. were so far along that mother could have died, and the puppies would have came out fine. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, yeah. He knows dogs. Oh, you're probably I do. Right. You're probably right about that. Because I feel like from the time that the attack gestation happened period to when... isn't nearly as long. Yeah, and from when that attack happened to when he actually got back to the rest of his tribe wasn't that long. Mm. Because it, they wouldn't have been as fucked up or dead if it took long. Yeah. So it wasn't. Yeah. So the, the final scene of the movie is Kida with Alpha and all of the new puppies, and then Alpha, I mean, Kida pulls over one of the puppies who is the implied Alpha yeah. to become, yeah. and he roars at the end of the movie, and it's so no, cute. it's so cute! <laughs> I hate that it's fake, but I'm like, oh my goodness. It might CG not be puppy. fake. They were so CG. It didn't look it in my version. So Those pups weren't real. If you saw that in 3D, you too know that shit was fake as hell. Those yeah, were not real. Was and it was kind of like... Mm. It wasn't bad, though, CG. It was good CG. No, but it was, no, you no, no the ending was really bad in 3D. I don't think so. I don't remember that. It was I do. I remember being like, those dogs were not dogs. I thought I was playing yeah. Nintendogs really quick. I was like, oh, they look more realistic. Really look, I've seen shit, video games more realistic. Yeah, but they're so fucking cute. It's puppy. You're not wrong. Howl, that shit gets me like in the feels. So, <laughs> yeah, we're running a little bit long um, for this movie. I'm gonna turn it over to Rob. What do you give this movie for a review? What do you like about it? What do you hate it? After we talked about it, I'm probably gonna give this movie 7.5 or an 8. I really liked the scenery. The acting was good, even though there wasn't much dialogue. I love the dogs. They were the best thing. That I've seen all year. Dogs are the best, Justin. Dogs are the best. I'm not exactly. They're not, but this movie is definitely like a five. If you have the opportunity to skip it, fucking do it. Don't listen to me. He's stupid. He's silly. It doesn't matter. You'll skip it anyway, statistically. Everyone's already skipped Shut it. Shut up! It's my time to talk. Yeah, no, it wasn't. I wasn't <laughs> done yet. I just it, like ob- <laughs> objectionally, it was a good movie. I just uh, doesn't like happy um, things. Evan, tell me a better story of how this ends because I would rather just go to the bathroom. 
I thought this. I thought this was a great movie. <laughs> um, I thought, like I said at the beginning, like I'm gonna keep hammering in that quote. Like I think it's a different type of movie, and like the reason why again is like is like everybody. You know, you go see. Like, you're going to go see your Happy Time Murders, you're going to go see your Mile 22, you're going to go see your Spy Who Dumped Me, you're going to see your uh, The Other Guys and Royal Tenenbaums, and those are movies that are crafted with our with our sociological and pol- political situations in mind. They're, they're created so we enjoy them as modern people, but when a movie like this is created, it's kind of an opportunity to go to the movie and see something different that we don't get to see every day. And that's kind of a cross between seeing some beautiful scenery and seeing a little bit of history that we never dreamed about how it could be created. So I think it was really cool to see that. Um, I've never seen or heard of a movie that's based on the domesticating of the first dog, so it was real cool for me. Um, I thought the acting was fantastic, all by new actors that I haven't heard of. They may not be new, but they're foreign to me. Um, They were great. Cinematography was unmatched. Um, The CG was, um, I wouldn't say forgivable because forgivable implies there's anything wrong with it, but I would say it was very top tier uh, CG. Um, Shot choices, uh, I mean, cinematography was good, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, Character building was good, albeit there wasn't many characters involved. Um, I, I think there's, there's too much. They didn't really need to go into this movie too much. Like, just like it, it's a National Ge- Geographic type of movie where you can watch for the scenery and the mm. characters and, and just sit back and enjoy something that's that kind of takes more time to build than a normal film. Um, I gave it an eight out of ten. I thought it was uh, it was uh, refreshing. Um, definitely didn't have any expectations going in, which maybe have something to do with it. But anyway, Sam. So I agree with literally every single thing you just said so I'm not gonna repeat you um I definitely think I fucked up by not seeing it in 3D because I feel like that would have made me forgive because it's not all the scenes where CG was present that I was like upset with but it's like 3D probably would have saved it because the scenery of it was just it was beautiful like this film was just beautiful and it was real cute and like it was like you didn't have to think much. Like, it was like, okay, yeah, this is, like, simpler times. This kid's gonna survive and get stronger, and it's an easy watch. But, like, it wasn't boring. Like, there was a lot of beautiful shots in it, and, you know, like you said, everything was well acted. I love the costuming choices. I, it, I thought it was great. Oh, the makeup, by the way. The makeup? I thought the makeup was great. I thought his leg was definitely a little bit like over the top, but I feel like it kind of had to be if that was the only thing that got injured in that fall. Um, I I wasn't mad about it. I was like, I like how purple and puffy his foot is right now, but like that that mustache for sure was he didn't. Speaking from experience, that was great. Broken legs and ankles do get that purple. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I thought the, the paint job and everything was great. I definitely thought it looked a little too big for how like quickly it healed but at the same time i don't know the exact time frame that it took it to heal so i can't be like that is incorrect um but the makeup and all of it i didn't have a problem with i like the the, the dirtying makeup was really the poop i'm a sucker for dirty makeup i that was bison poop (laughs) Yeah, yeah yeah i hope it was real too and I think like the other tribe, the their like main, their chief in the other tribe, he didn't he have like darker makeup around his face. Yeah. Like I thought that was. Yeah. Oh, I, I like when makeups are supposed to look dirtier because they're oh, harder to fuck up, and the more organic they look, the better. So I feel like whoever was in charge of the makeup for this did a pretty good job, in my opinion. I thought the costuming for everyone was great. After working as a cinematographer, just a note, after working as a cinematographer for years, one thing I did note is like the consistency with the makeup was on point. Like you, this was probably filmed over like a couple months. Mm-hmm. So like consistent. Yeah. Because usually you could, I mean, not like usually. Me, I stare at that shit. So I'm like, oh, something's like slightly shifted or you know, reasons why. different. Oh, <laughs> God, I fucking shit. I will come on a podcast to talk about how much I fucking hated that. 
but like yeah just this I really didn't have any issues besides like some of the CG stuff that I think was my own fault because I didn't see it in 3D so I'm gonna give this like an 8.5 yeah Word. <laughs> yeah with that being said, we're running a little long, but I want to end this podcast out. Rob, do you have any plugs for this week? Yeah, like, rate, review the podcast as always. And if you like my friend Gabe, you can find him on Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to. G no. Sizzle 69. <laughs> I was expecting that. <laughs> this is a wholesome family episode. So sorry, Gabe. Weird uh, that it's the most family oriented movie and you nobody's you, you people just it. made it so dirty. <laughs> Please just subscribe and keep it for new episodes every twice a week. Jesus Christ. Just end this. Mm-hmm. It's a disaster right now. Yeah. Support Gabe on Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> and with that being said, um, check us out, Brutally Honest Reviews, Facebook, YouTube, SoundCloud, Stitcher, um, maybe Spotify. Soon. Pocket casts. I don't know anything Pocket casts? Mm. What? Go on. You mean like in your pocket? No. <laughs> no, Pocket Cast is a podcast app. Just go. Just go. Oh, okay. Is it on there? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. It's on any cool. podcast. It's on everything. Yeah. Anything that takes RSS. Any podcast app that takes RSS. Gabe's grinder profile. G- well, yeah. yeah. Um, Look what you've done. But well, watch it on YouTube so you can see Raven. You better fucking yes. put Raven up. Seriously. I'm going to put her right on there for a second. I'm making him do it again. You're going to see it. Especially well, not this time, maybe. Premiere. It may be a video. Who knows? We'll see. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, that being said, uh, Brutally Honest for Years, check us out. Keep it brutally honest. Um, check out Hop Top Films. Soon we got two short films coming out. What Happens in Vega and Thy Kim- Kingdom Come and Come October. We will be releasing a trailer for Meet the Author and a full-length trailer of Lifted, two other short films we're working on. Yeah! Sorry. Yes. I'm so and fucking excited. For some that. of us worked on that. Not that I worked on it. <laughs> you didn't work on it. No. Okay. What's Lifted? Okay. <laughs> Sam, plugs? Um, I'm going to plug myself. That sounded so wrong. Um, I meant, you know, affection. I knew you'd have fun with that, Justin. Um, Nailed it. Crazy. If you like, you know, scary, spoopy stuff. And also, I like dirty makeup as well. Um, check out my effects Instagram and Facebook at Night Terror FX. Yeah. That's it. Well, that's all, folks. Tune in next week for whatever the heck we are reviewing. We don't know anymore. Not so, peace. one fucking clue. Peace. Bye.